Hello, my name is Paul Miners. Welcome back to another one of my Asana training videos. In this video, I want to show you how you can take advantage of the new AI features that have recently come to Asana. At the time of recording this video, we can see Asana just starting to dabble and dip their feet into AI. And I know that there is uh, more on the roadmap to come, but I wanted to share some initial thoughts and show you how you can start to use these new features. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment below. And if you would like one-on-one -on -one help with setting up or optimizing your Asana account, training your team and improving the adoption of Asana within your company, then click the link in the description below to learn more about my Asana consulting options. Now, the first way AI can help you in Asana is to generate a list of subtasks that helps you to understand the next steps you need to take to move a task forward. For example, I have this task here to file a GST return. This is a sort of admin task that I do every couple of months filing my, my tax return. Now, I've got details in this task that outline the steps that I need to take. And this is a great example of how you can document a standard operating procedure or SOP in Asana. And you can click up here to view a video that I have about putting SOPs in Asana. And so you can see this task has quite a high level of detail that outlines you know, the steps that we need to take. Now, what I can do down here is if I click the plus button next to subtasks, I can click this create subtasks and it's got this little AI symbol next to it. So what Asana's intelligence is going to do is it's going to read the, the um, content of this task and it's going to suggest subtasks that I should complete. So here we go. It's, it's analyzed the content there and it's saying, right, the first thing I need to do is reconcile recent transactions, export data, bulk lookup IP, and so on. So it's given me a pretty good list of subtasks. Now, I can click the X on the right-hand side. Uh, for example, maybe I, I don't want to include this particular subtask. I could click the X to remove it. Or if I'm happy with this, this list, I can click to add those subtasks. So just by simply analyzing the content of the task, Asana has created this checklist that I need to follow. Now, if you've played with AI tools like ChatGPT before, then you know that the quality of the output and the response that you get is determined by the quality of the input and the prompt. So in this case, in Asana, if I have a task that's just like create weekly report, and if I have nothing in the description, no other information about the task, Asana is actually, the Asana intelligence is not going to be able to create subtasks for you. But if I take some time to write a bit of a brief, and if I put in the description sort of what the task is about, what we need to do, I'm feeding Asana intelligence with more information to, to then for it to create those subtasks for me. So this is very much a, a quality in, quality out issue. Now, a way we can use Asana Intelligence to create subtasks that I think is going to be really useful is to create action items after a meeting. Here's an example of a task which I'm using to write in notes during a meeting. So at the top, the name of the task is just simply the, the date, and I've got meeting here with Tim Cook. And you can see in the description, I've taken some notes and I've just kind of jotted down what we talked about during the meeting. Now, after the meeting, what I could do is I could come in here and again, create subtasks. Asana Intelligence is going to look at my notes and it's going to work out what are the action steps that we need to take as a result of these meeting notes. So here we go. It's given me a pretty good list based on the input. We need to increase marketing campaign, uh, add Facebook and Twitter to next month's ad spend, plan our Christmas campaign, allocate the budget for the Q1 to Q2 launches and develop a marketing plan. So I can, uh, I can discard these if I'm not happy or I can just go ahead and add those action items to my task. And from there, I can assign these to people on my team, add due dates, and I can get to work. So where I think this is going to save us a lot of time is it really removes that step of me having to think about what do I need to do to complete this task? I don't have to break it down. I can use Asana Intelligence to suggest what the next steps are for me to move forward and make progress on that task. Now, the next way that Asana Intelligence can save me time is if I've got a task that's in progress, there's maybe a long conversation that's taken place in the comments, and I just want to catch up and find out where is this task at, Asana Intelligence can help me. And this is great potentially as a manager. I can catch up with my team. I can find out where that task is at without having to comment and ask, you know, what's the status of this task? I don't have to bother them. Asana Intelligence can just do this for me. Here's an example of a task that's in progress at the moment. There's a bit of a description and there has been a conversation that's taken place down here. 
Now, if I want to quickly catch up, I can come up to the task menu and I can uh, choose summarize task. Asana Intelligence is going to look at the description. It's going to look at the conversation that's taken place between the team. And here now, it's given me this quick summary. So I can read this and actually, it actually does a really good job, I think, of catching me up so I understand where this task is at, who's involved, and what the next steps are. I can choose to either copy this if I want to copy and paste this text somewhere, or I could click edit, and it's gonna actually copy the description uh, or the, the summary down into my comments. And I might choose to just write a quick comment, and I can post this in here for myself, maybe pin it, and there's my quick summary so I can easily see you know, where this task is at and what we need to do next. Again, there is a quality in, quality out factor for this feature to be useful. So I see this being most useful for those tasks where there's a long conversation that's taken place, multiple people involved, and you just want to quickly catch up. And the final AI feature I'd like to show you today is how we can use Asana Intelligence to improve our writing when we are commenting or writing descriptions in Asana. Coming back to my meeting task here, I've written a comment to Lindsay on my team, and there's actually a couple of mistakes in here. Before I post this, what I can do is I can click the Asana Intelligence icon down here. And Asana Intelligence is going to read my comment, and first thing it's gonna do is it's going to improve spelling and grammar. So down the bottom, this is how Asana Intelligence has rewritten my comment, and it's fixed those spelling mis mistakes in the word subtasks and month there. And then the other thing I can do is I can click down here and I can change the tone of my message. I can make this sound uh, more professional if I want and I can change this to be shorter or longer. Or I generally opt for a more casual or friendly tone so I might go friendly here and we'll keep this sort of medium length. And I can, I can check this first. Um, once I uh, am happy with this, I can click replace. I can then make any final edits. I actually need to tag Lindsay again. And then once I'm happy, I can click comment. You can use this feature down here in the comments or anywhere you can type text in Asana. So if I wanted to go through these notes and rewrite them, I can um, edit my writing. I can check for grammar. I can change the tone here in the description as well. So that is a first look at how we can use AI to be more efficient and improve our experience of using Asana. As I said at the start, this is just the beginning and we're expecting Asana to really build on this and introduce more AI features in the future. So definitely keep an eye out. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment below and thank you very much for watching.